From here, head north into Vapaladiamba, the Western Reserve. You'll remember it for the big plateau, the one with a view to die for. That's where you find the potholes that Barden mentioned in his note. There are plenty of places along the river to check for signs of Barden. The first spot is marked on your map.
The area ahead, you might remember, is popular with the tourists. Stop and check it out. Remember these? The giant's kettles? We just call them the potholes. When I was a young warden, my friend Mbali and I used to patrol out here. We saw some tourists bring coins and toss them into the holes for good luck. So we started doing the same. We can't do that anymore. It draws too many thieves. The only predators we ever saw here were a family of jackals, always sulking about. They never bothered Mbali and I. At least. You know what? You should keep moving, looking for Baden. There's another spot to the north. Give it a look. Grandchild, this is not easy for me to talk about, but I must tell you. One day, we were a man down, so Mbali went out scouting on her own, even though she was not feeling well. Nine hours later, she hadn't returned. I knew where to look for her, our lucky potholes. But... When I found her, she was dead. And the jackals were eating her. Now those jackals had the taste of people, and you know what that means. Two females, their litters, their mate. I had to shoot them all. They'd never bothered us, but here, I thought these jackals killed Imbali. I was so angry. After I shot them, I didn't harvest them. I didn't honor them. I kicked their bodies into the holes and left them to rot while I brought Imbali back to her family. The jackals, come to find out, did not kill Mbali. Sleeping sickness did. As gruesome as it was, the jackals were scavenging, not murdering. They had to be put down, but with respect, not hatred. This, this is the place where I shot the females. I didn't regret doing it, not at first. But then, whenever I was on night patrol, I began to see it. The ghost jackal. Your brother thinks I should be in therapy for trauma, but the Sangoma confirmed the spiritual nature of the problem. The jackal's spirit haunts me, haunts Vahonga. Now it haunts Gustav Baden. What if, what if it haunts you, grandchild? What if I have cursed our family? Look, give me a moment here. 
your brother is going to lecture me on my superstitious ways. You should continue looking for burden at the outpost marked up ahead. Hey, thanks for listening to your grandfather without judging him. You're almost at the outpost. Also, I, um, I have some news. The coroner recovered those poachers' bodies, or what's left of them. signs of burden? No? Oh, this is bad. Very bad. What a mess. What kind of Mampara gives away perfectly good gear to strangers? Gustav Baden, our Mampara of the month. Has he left another note? I have to give Baden credit. He's an even bigger Mampara than I thought. Poisoning himself with fungus and scaling the plateau is perhaps the stupidest thing I have ever heard happening at Vohonga. And I've been here 45 years.
Eesh. All right. With any luck, Baden stranded at the top of the plateau. So far, you've saved several animals. Today, you're going to save a Mampara. Follow Baden's tracks to reach this base camp of his. Baden's boot prints, great. At least he has proper footwear, and he seems to be capable of walking in a semi-straight line. Follow him. Wait, are there jackal tracks alongside Gustav's? Well, that leaves us with a question. Was Gustav following the jackal, or was the jackal following Gustav? The only way to know is to find them. And based on where you are, I'm betting they were on their way to the Weeping Face. Check it out up ahead. You're just about up to the weeping face. Taurus and film crews love this spot. I don't need to explain the name, do I? I mean, it's a face that looks like it is weeping. What else would you call it?
So, base camp is in the middle of a puddle. Mampar. Check it out. be superstitious and traditional, but these aren't field notes. These are the ramblings of a madman. I don't know what kind of dung Barden went digging in, but a person in this state of mind, unfamiliar with this terrain, interacting with a jackal is a bad idea. Ghost or no ghost. What Let's if hope he Barden is stranded or passed purpose. out at the broken what bridge up ahead chased? and not splattered or against the ground below? believed he was being chased. I posted warning signs all over that bridge to keep mamparas like Barden out. It yeah, doesn't stop them from trying though, does it? Of course the sky is belching, right when we're trying to save this Mampara from himself. Hurry, grandchild, and be careful. Mind your step up there. Mind the ghost.
drags you are following won't last long in a flash storm. Hurry, quickly! bridge should be just ahead. Ancestors help us. Bridge. What about Baden? Jacket button wall. You need to collect it so we can confirm. Be careful. You're no Mampara, but gravity will pull you down, same as anyone else. Careful, grandchild. Grandchild, hello. What happened? Grandchild. Little brother, get a drone out there and find your sibling. I don't care about the weather. Grandchild, listen to me. We're going to find you. You will be okay. You have to be okay. Please, ancestors, protect your grandchild. The noy hunter who came home to honor you. Grandchild, if you can hear this, I'm sorry for everything. This ghost jackal, that bridge, it's all my fault. I failed you. Grandchild, you're moving again. If you can hear me, you're close to a cave. That cave is where the jackals kept their den. I don't know what the ghost jackal wants from you, but I tell you this. A hunter with a pure heart like yours should not fear the dead. You will be protected by your integrity, guarded by your ancestors, even as you journey into darkness. A hunter with a pure heart like yours should not fear the dead. You will be protected by your integrity, guarded by your ancestors, even as you journey into darkness.
Was that? Is that your sibling signal? Grandchild, is that you? Praise the ancestors, I was right. You really are a hunter with noy blood. Now you believe me. You know the ghost jackal is real because you've seen it. And you have an opportunity to help me make things right. There is a tree that only appears in the moonlight. Find it. That's where you must bury the jackal's skull. And offer praise and respect to the dead on behalf of your grandfather. The dead do not disappear. They live on through us. The dead are always watching us. So we always have a chance to be redeemed in their eyes. Thank you, grandchild. 
It's a new day, grandchild, for both of us. While your brother thinks a medic should check you for signs of mushroom poisoning, I think you have finally lifted the curse on the hunger. I carried this wit like a boulder on my heart for decades. Now, it's gone. I feel five years younger. No, ten years. But I called you here so I could retire, and there's no taking that back. Obviously, the job is yours. So, congratulations, Senior Warden. Now you get to deal with your brother and his hootubers and his spiritual skepticism. Congratulations. And do you know what else you get as Senior Warden? Can you guess? It's more work, and you can't do it alone. That's why I've called in a specialist and a team to handle that task. Veteran Wilderness Guide, Dr. Dana Maritz. Dr. Dana is an acquired taste. To her, there's a wrong way, and then there's her way. Now that you are senior warden, I guarantee she's going to test you to find out which way you do things. She can be overly authoritative, but if you pay attention, Dr. Dana will teach you some things. She's not always right, but she's the real deal when it comes to hunting and skill shooting. That's why weapons manufacturers put her on the payroll to sell their products. Now, don't let Dr. Dana occupy all of your time. You have official warden's work to do there in Vopaladiamba. The Mfundla, the scrub hair population, is out of control, and it's starting to affect the living jackals that call this plateau home. Your work in this region will focus on restoring balance by applying different pressures to the animals. In addition, you still have exploring to do in Walunga, the northern reserve. Plenty of work to do up there. The river up in Walunga is predator-free, making it a safe haven for Cape Buffalo. A dangerously large herd has congregated there. You need to disperse it, and that will be tricky. Take the time to prepare before you tackle that one. Now, even though I am officially retiring, and you are officially the senior warden who runs Varonga Savannah, I'm not going to leave my radio post. For as long as you'll have me, it will be my pleasure to continue to offer you guidance whenever I can. That's the least I can do for you after what you have done for me. Now, when I die, the ancestors will receive me with pride, despite the mistake.